Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about some Fiesta pork. I want to thank Kelly Stone of Mansfield, Ohio for sending in a recipe. Her original recipe is actually Fiesta chicken, but I have a lot of pork on hand so I'm just going to adapt it to go to pork instead of chicken. But basically her recipe just calls for some salsa. It's going to be a very simple recipe. I'm just going to be adding a few things to it that she doesn't have in here. So I'm going to mix it right in the dish that I'm going to be baking it in. Like I say, hers basically says salsa and add some Fiesta dip mix. And basically, that, that was her whole recipe. And after it's done, you garnish it with a little bit of cheese and uh, some sour cream and black olives. But to make this my own, you know how I'm going to do that. She said that was okay to do. I'm going to add to that, I'm going to add some sour cream. I'm also going to have, you've heard me talk about Marie's Creamy Ranch Dressing. I love this stuff. I eat this stuff daily. So I'm actually going to add some of that to it. I mean, this is, this is the best ranch dip you'll ever find. And also to that, we're going to add a few black olives right in with the, the cooking. And we'll also use a few more for the garnish, but I'm also adding some diced green chilies. That's not her recipe, but I think for Fiesta pork, got to have some diced green chilies, no? Alright, that's basically what we're going to put in there. Now all we're going to do is mix all this together. You're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about an hour. And I'm getting a text on my phone. I need to know what it sounds like when I receive a text. all mixed up and I'm using uh, a pork shoulder blade steak. Really, really nice steak. So we're just going to put that in there. Going to turn it over, get it all nice and covered. And basically folks, that's it until we're going to put this dude in the oven. Okay? Just to give you an idea what it looks like. Now, Kelly's recipe doesn't say anything about covering, so I'm not going to cover it. I've got one in the oven already. Said 350 for an hour. This one's been in for about 50 minutes. And with pork, it shouldn't have to be quite as done as chicken, so this should. Oh, this is looking good. This is like really good. Now she says just to sprinkle some cheese on the top after it's done. It's looking mighty good, folks. And then a few more black olives on top of that. And that's basically what we got. If I can get this held up here so you can see it. Hopefully you can see that, I don't know. Steaks are really big, so I'm sure I can easily make two meals out of each one. By the way, don't touch hot glass, it'll burn you. 
bone-in steak, so going to re retain the juices. Mm. Mm. Pork doesn't need to be all the way done like chicken, so 50 minutes seems to work pretty good. There you go, folks. Fiesta pork. Kelly Stone of Mansfield, Ohio. Thank you for that recipe. Hope you hope I didn't bastardize it too much. I hope it's hope you like it. I think you will. That's that's a delicious taste. Next week I'm going to try to do a romantic dinner. At least I think it's romantic. I don't know. Maybe the ladies, maybe not so much. I'm going to do a maple rosemary bacon wrapped filet mignon. Hmm? In fact, I might even wear a shirt and tie for that one. So tune in to see that. that I think you're really in luck. He's going to enjoy that one. So now I can tell my friends and family, les c'est les bon temps brûlés. Let the good times roll. Guess who's getting ready to eat me some good uh, fiesta pork? This guy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>